And finally, number five, markets and prices coordinate economic activity. It is the interaction of demand and supply that determine the allocation of society's resources, implying that the role of government is limited. This premise deserves a little more of our attention. What do economists mean when they say that markets and prices coordinate economic activity? In what sense are markets self-regulating, thus limiting the need for government intervention? Economists represent a market for a good graphically as the relationship between the price of the good indicated along the vertical axis and either the quantity demanded or the quantity supplied of the good along the horizontal axis. As price increases or decreases along the vertical axis, what does economic theory predict will happen to quantity demanded or quantity supplied? Let's examine each side of the market separately. Economists typically represent the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded of a good with a demand curve that is downward sloping to the right. This curve reflects what economists call the law of demand. The law of demand predicts an inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded of a good such that at relatively high price points such as the one represented here as P1 the quantity demanded of the good would be relatively low, represented here as QD1. At lower price points, such as that represented here as price point P2, quantity demanded is relatively high, as indicated by point QD2. The law of demand is a very simple idea. At higher prices, the quantity of a good demanded by consumers is less than at lower prices. At lower prices, the quantity of a good demanded by consumers is greater than at higher prices. It is called the law of demand because so much empirical evidence has been found to support the hypothesis that economists just accepted as axiomatic. The law of demand makes intuitive sense as well. All other things being equal, are you likely to buy more or less bottled water if the price increases from $1 per bottle to $2 per bottle?